more. Connor? Well, Greg, just yesterday, President Obama signaled that the U.S. may be prepared to allow Iran to continue enriching some uranium. Now, that didn't sit well with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu really pushed back on that idea today. Now, Netanyahu has long insisted uh, that Iran's entire nuclear program, both the military and civilian sides, be completely dismantled. He said today that denying Iran a nuclear weapon is the primary challenge of this generation. Netanyahu who warned the international community today to be aware of Tehran's intentions and not to ease pressure on Iran. Israel is prepared to do what is necessary to defend itself. We share President Obama's preference to see Iran's nuclear weapons program end through diplomacy. But for diplomacy to succeed, it must be coupled with powerful sanctions and a credible military threat. Now, President Obama de defended the international deal Saturday, which many allies in the United or in the uh, Middle East area really are very nervous about, insisting his bottom line is to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. Obama is saying ultimately the sanctions relief will depend on Iran's actions going forward, and that is what has so many in this region worried, Greg. They really don't trust Iran, and they are afraid that the United States is going to be tricked by Iran's sweet talk talking going forward. Greg. Yeah. Secretary of State John Kerry uh, insists that Israel and the United States are in sync uh, from where you are in Jerusalem. Does it, does it seem like that? Do people feel that? No, there's a lot of tension. I mean, Prime Minister Netanyahu has really publicly uh, sort of laid out what most people are saying privately, which is that there just simply aren't on the same side, although they are trying to sort of publicly get their act together. Netanyahu and Shimon Perez, Israel's president, had very kind words to say this weekend, and Perez even saying that he's willing to speak with um, the new Iranian president. So they are more on the same page this weekend than they have been, but underneath it all, uh, Israel's leaders and, in fact, many of the Arab leaders in this part of the world, the U.S. allies in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait and Bahrain, are very, very nervous and really simply don't trust the Obama administration going forward. But right now, they don't really have a choice. They've got to follow the White House lead on dealing with Iran. Connor Powell reporting live in Jerusalem. Connor, thanks very much. And growing.